and welcome to the Task Morning Show. I'm Marin James and here are the latest. The Valley of Matra and Chairman of the Municipal Affairs Committee, as well as the Chairman of the Chamber of Commerce and Industry, along with members of the Shura Council, inspected the site of fire that broke out last Friday evening in the Alwadi Al Kabir industrial area. Reviewing the damages caused due to recent fire outbreaks in different parts of the city, the team of officials emphasized the importance of periodic checks in industrial sites and the need to ensure adherence to SOPs and safety and security guidelines. Further, they urged business owners to ensure facilities as protection against future hazards. The team stated that together with the participation of a number of competent authorities, they would study and implement regulations that must be followed in the future in industrial zones. The team also praised the brave efforts made by the Royal Oman Police, Civil Defence Personnel as well as General Directorate of Operations for their role in controlling and extinguishing the fire, which lasted for more than eight hours. The Ministry of Health has urged citizens and residents to avoid travelling outside the country during the current period unless absolutely necessary with the emergence of new and mutated strains of the COVID-19 virus. 868 new confirmed COVID-19 cases were reported on Sunday, bringing the total number of COVID-19 patients in the Sultanate to 139,362. The total number of death cases in the country has reached 1,552 after three people died in three days. A total of 130,653 COVID-19 patients have recovered, the ministry said. The Muscat International Airport has earned a four-star rating in an audit conducted by international rating agency Skytrax for taking adequate measures to curb the spread of COVID-19. The audit evaluates airport safety protocols, primarily the effectiveness and consistency of safety and hygiene measures implemented by airports, which include cleaning and disinfection procedures through all stages of travel at the airport for both departures and arrivals. Oman Airport stated that this achievement is a milestone demonstrating its commitment to provide the best safety services to travellers in line with national efforts to curb the spread of COVID-19. A Boeing 777 scattered debris over a residential area near Denver after one of its engines failed on takeoff. The United Flight 328 with 231 passengers and 10 crew on board was headed from Denver to Honolulu when the incident occurred. Passengers on board described a large explosion shortly after takeoff. No injuries have been reported so far. Thank you for watching the Task Morning Show. Follow the Arabian Stories for the latest updates.